So today I'm going to teach you a super easy way to kill the fox along with everything you need to know about the fox. This little guy right here. To start off, only one fox can spawn each day on the moon. So if you kill the fox, another one won't spawn and you'll never see more than one fox unless someone is cheating. The fox takes seven hits to kill and can spawn on any moon with no preferred moon. The fox will only spawn when 17 or more vein shrouds exist. Now you can see here I definitely don't have 17, but that's just because I spawned them in. Now these vein shrouds have a chance to spawn when leaving the moon, and only once one or more has spawned will it continue to spawn for the following days. So, say there's only one weed on the moon, you can use the weed killer purchased in the shop for 60 credits to spray the weed. And if, when you spray it enough, the weed will break and disappear. And by getting rid of, in, case, in this case, the one weed, but all the weeds on the moon, you make it easier on yourself later on because the fox won't spawn. But I will show you that this is pretty much a waste of time because it's an easy way to kill the fox. But getting rid of all the weeds on the moon will lessen the chances significantly of more weeds spawning the next day. It'll give you more of a buffer in between the next time the weeds spawn. After you do hit 17 weeds, the more weeds that are on the moon will increase the chances of the fox spawning every two hours. So if you have 30 weeds on the moon, you'll have a significantly higher chance of the fox spawning earlier on in the day than if you only had the 17 minimum. Like mentioned before, similar to Bracken, the fox will try and get behind you, and unless you look at him to make him retreat, he will kill you. So how this works is if I turn away, you will hear the fox very soon try and get behind me. When he gets too close, he will stick me with his tongue and drag me to the weeds. There you go, I didn't look at him, got too close, and this is where you'll kill me. Now the longer the fox licks you, the stronger his pull will get, and soon he'll just be able to outpull you and drag you to his house. His weeds. The fox can only kill you if you are in the range of the weeds where it has its home. Another feature the fox has is it tries to prevent people from staying in the ship and hiding. So if you're in the ship longer than 18 seconds, the fox will start to go towards ship and attack the first player that it sees in the ship. Here you will see I've been on the ship for those 18 seconds, and so the fox will start to try and make its way behind me and onto the ship where it'll kill me. Even if I looked at it. And then, just like before, it'll drag you to the weeds and kill you. To prevent the fox from continuing to drag you is to hit its tongue with a shovel. Now this is rough because when the fox tongues you, and you'll see here, you'll drop all your items. So what you need to do is pick up the shovel that it forced you to drop and hit its tongue. Keep in mind you do need to hit the tongue of the fox and not the fox itself. If you do happen to hit the fox he will get angry and try and drag you again back but his range to kill you will be much larger and so he might just run up to you and bite your head off. Here's a demonstration of that, you'll see the fox will lick me here, I pick up, I hit him, you'll see his chase after me, try and get me again. So using the strategy of the fox trying to kill you in the ship, you can easily kill the fox, just get a free kill on the fox, having zero skill at all. So here we are going to stay on ship for the 18 seconds, and he'll start to investigate and get on the ship to kill me. And this corner right here of the ship needs to be open. This is going to be your best friend. What you're going to do is wait for the fox to start walking to attack you as so. But then you're going to get in this corner and face towards the opening of the ship. The fox will come up right next to you and you can just hit him. All you do is aim in that corner and hit the fox and boom, it's dead for the day. So to recap... Wait for the fox to aggro onto you and ship, get in corner, and 
face towards the ship door. Once the fox is in the corner here, just hit it seven times. There is a more risky way to kill the fox by getting licked by it. You hit him kind of close to his nest. And then you're just kind of able to kill him if he's at the edge of his nest range. But yeah, the strategy is basically to hit him while he's tonguing you and back up far from his nest and hit him again after he tongues you again or right before he tongues you. Of course, there are other strategies for the fox. You can use stun grenades. And it will stun the fox. Same goes for radar booster flash. You can also just use the company cruiser and run him over. Mmm, fresh roadkill. Or you can just go up to him and blast him twice with shotgun. Those are all the main strategies I have for you for getting rid of the fox and dealing with him. I think the main point of this video is that you can easily kill him using the strat where you stand in this corner and look towards the door. He'll just path right up next to you and you can hit him seven times. But thank you all for watching. If you like these videos and you like learning new things about Lethal Company, make sure to join the Discord. We have a great time in there, learn lots of new things together. But that's it for this video. Peace.